If you're stricken with a case of wanderlust, a regular car or truck might not do. And if you're like me, tent camping across the United States is out. And staying in hotels every night, that's a little bourgeois. Enter the American RV. This is the Outlaw, a V10-powered Class A RV from Thor Motor Coach. It sleeps seven, has a second floor bedroom, and a full garage in the back for your toys. It's the solution for people who want to see the country without leaving home. How does it look? It looks like a giant caterpillar covered in tribal tattoos. RVs aren't made to be beautiful. They're simple geometric shapes, shrouded in obnoxious graphics to hide their enormous bulk. How's the storage? Ample, to say the least. This thing is larger than my first apartment. I've heard of people hauling smart cars in the back. Is it roomy? Roomy? I said it sleeps seven people. Pay attention, creepy disembodied voice. Is it well equipped? Yeah, it is. It comes with everything and the kitchen sink. How's the infotainment system? It's got four TVs, including one on the exterior, and enough USB ports to charge every iPhone in Taylor Swift's squad. Is it a good daily driver? No, it's terrifying, look at me. The Outlaw is actually about two feet wider than a Lamborghini Aventador, and its height is three inches from the maximum allowed on public roads. If you drove something taller than this, you wouldn't just get a ticket, you'd hit a bridge. Is it fun to drive? Well, it is involving as well as exhausting. These things take constant attention to drive, which makes it seem kind of crazy that you don't need any special training to drive one. Truckers love that. How's the fuel economy? The Outlaw is powered by Ford's tried and true 6.8 liter V10, producing 320 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. The EPA doesn't rate fuel economy for RVs, it just laughs at you for asking. You can expect about five to eight miles per gallon in the Outlaw, which is why it comes with an 80 gallon fuel tank. How much is it? This particular one's for rent by my family's business, Neff Brothers RV. It rents for $1,200 a day, and comes with its own driver named Kurt. It's mainly used by production companies for commercial and movie shoots. Probably no porn, but it's hard to say. This one's for sale, Kurt not included, for about 115,000, and a brand new one costs between 150 and 200,000. What are the negatives? It drives like a house. Does that sound fun to you? Does it, creepy voice? Who should buy it? It's perfect for empty nesters and retirees who just want to see the country without leaving their home behind or their toys. Hell, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now if I could afford to buy one and just leave.